afternoon, everyone. I'm Gilbert Sanpua. And I'm Joanne Mono. And you're watching News and O. Malacanang scrambles to forestall GE strike. Malacanang Sunday said the government is acting on the concerns of militant jeepney drivers who have planned to stage a protest on Monday and are set to hold the strike next month. The pinag-isang samahan ng motoperat operators nationwide or Piston had asked for the deferment or scrapping of the oil deregulation law and the removal of the 12% value added tax on oil imports. Piston also wanted the government to have a say on the pricing of oil products. Cabinet Secretary Cardo Saludo said government vehicles will be deployed to ferry stranded commuters. The government is acting, acting on issues raised by jeepney groups to avoid strikes and fair hikes, Saludo said. Press Secretary Ignacio Bunye, in a text message, belittled the planned protest saying it's only a rally and that not all chapters of Piston would participate. George San Mateo, Piston Secretary General and spokesman, said about 500 to 1,000 drivers would join the rally. Energy Secretary Angela Reyes, in a radio interview, has promised a substantial reduction in the cases of cotton by December 15 through Task Force anti cotton and anti colorum headed by retired Lieutenant General Roy Campo. As for the local news headline, according to the PNP, ex-mayor admits role in plot to kill Akbar. A former mayor has confessed participation in a plot to assassinate Representative Wahab Akbar at the Sulu Hotel. But police are still trying to determine if he was directly involved in the November 13 bombing at the Batasan complex that killed the Batasan congressman. Director Gary Barrios of the NCR Police Office said the former mayor, Hajarin Jamir of Duburan Basile, had told the investigators he helped plan a bomb attack to kill Akbar on October 23 at the hotel in Quezon City. Akbar did not show up to the hotel, so the plan of assassinating him is a chance to be Barrios said. Jamir, who helped the military negotiate the release of kidnapped Italian priest Giancarlo Bossi in June is a known enemy of Akbar, a former member of Abusea, who later helped in the U.S.-backed anti-terror campaign against the group. A motorcycle that was to be used in the Sulu Hotel plot was taken by Jamir near Pepecin in San Andres and the bomb it was loaded with was taken to a house on Avella Street near Leverita in Malate, said Superintendent Joaquin Alba of the Criminal Investigation and Detection Group, or CID. Akbar, 47, and three others were killed in the Batasan bombing, whose mastermind remained unknown. Twelve others were wounded, including two congressmen.
for international news. In Russia, a passenger bus caught and fire expl exploded in southern Russia Thursday, killing at least five people and wounding 12, emergency and police officials said. Investigators said terrorism was likely the cause. The incident took place in Russia's troubled north, Caucasus, which is played by violence from feuding criminal groups. Villarmosa, Mexico. The government knew Mexico's Gulf Coast, Coast was a disaster in waiting long before three rivers surged out of their banks, flooding nearly every inch of the low-lying state of Tabasco and leaving more than one million homes underwater. But officials admit they never finished a $190 million review project that was supposed to have been done by 2006 and would have held back much of the rising waters that flooded Tabasco at the end of October. And in London, the government unveiled plans Thursday to provide vaccinations for the entire population in the advent of a flu pandemic. Health Secretary Alan Johnson said a flu pandemic was one of the most severe risks facing the country, telling lawmakers that he had signed an agreement to secure the delivery of enough pandemic flu vaccines to cover every citizen. For business news, inflation tends to slightly rise in November. The country's annual inflation may have inched up in November due to higher gas and food prices, as well as an upward adjustment in wages. The Bank of Central the Philippines has projected. PSD Governor Amanda Titanko Jr. yesterday estimated that the year-on-year -year inflation for the month of November would range from a high of 3.1% to a low of 2.4%. In October, inflation reached 2.7%. Inflation this month may be somewhat higher than in October, also because of the increase in cost of living allowance in some regions, Titanko said. Mitigating outside pressures are the best appreciation and reduction in prices of other food items, he explained. Overall, the inflation environment is expected to continue to be favorable. The sharp appreciation of the peso has tempered the spike in local gasoline prices based on a PSP report presented to Malacanang. For sports, Pacquiao to challenge champion BF. Plans are slowly taking shape for Manny Pacquiao to go on for the WBC lightweight champion David Diaz in March next year. Pacquiao is said to be meeting with the promoter Bob Arum in the Benjamin and to discuss the details of the fight. However, trainer Freddie Roach said that one man will test still an option.